Like so many other parts of Thailand, Ko Chang also has its fair share of amazing waterfalls. Today we are going to visit Klong Flu, probably one of the biggest and most popular waterfalls on this island. I'm on my way to Klong Flu waterfall and on the way I see this sign next to a little dirt track leading into the jungle. I'm intrigued. Nothing vented, nothing gained. Let's go and see what this leads to. And look at that, absolutely breathtaking. A little picnic spot right next to the river that flows down from the waterfall. Before I head to the waterfall, I've decided I'm going to stop off at one of these little Thai restaurants on the side of the road, and grab myself something to eat. I've got a funny feeling this is gonna be quite a long trek. Right, I'm heading to Komplu Waterfall. Ah, oh, look, here it is. The sign is in the name. Komplu Waterfall. It's just cost me 200 baht to get in, which is about a fiver. Money well spent, I say. Well, we'll see. I guess it is. So beautiful, look at this. All plush greenery all around. of a whale I don't know what that's doing here oh recycling all up for that definitely a little river down here I guess that's leading down from the waterfall fantastic look forward to this one one of the many things I love about Ko Chang Island is it is so undeveloped and that's mainly because of the mountainous terrain that makes it difficult to develop on this island it's still got pretty much everything you need, but not so crowded and full of uh, concrete jungle. Still has its beauty. Look at that fantastic little river. Now there's a big conception, misconception about why this island is called Ko Chang. A lot of people think it's because it has elephants on it. Well, yes, it does have elephants on it, but the main reason why it's called Ko Chang is because apparently part of the island is shaped like an elephant's head. And for those of you not in the know, Ko Chang means elephant. But yeah, there you go, a little bit of useless information for you. It's actually called Ko Chang because part of the island is shaped like an elephant's head. Look at that lovely little path through the jungle. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I'm not at a stage in my life where I really wanna be traipsing up the side of a mountain in 35 degrees heat. But have a look around you. I mean, this is just absolutely breathtaking. Beautiful, nature at its best. And also knowing that at any stage, I can just jump into this beautiful river next to me and get absolutely refreshed really does make it all worthwhile. Oh, looks like another sign coming up. I can't really read what it says, partly because I don't have my glasses on and partly because it's all in Thai. I guess it probably says main waterfall, another 100 meters. Uh, let's wait and see.
It's so nice to see a mixture of cultures visiting this waterfall and the majority of them being Thai as well. One thing that does upset me a little bit is when you come to pay and they say it's one price for Europeans and a lower price for Thai people. I mean, if you did that in the UK, you would get absolutely slaughtered. I can appreciate that, yeah, the majority of Thai people are probably on a lower wage than what Europeans are, but I guess it is what it is. Moving on gracefully. Right, onwards and upwards, heading down this lovely little path. Got to watch out for snakes around here because I'm sure there are a few about and let's hope we don't come across any. Tourist information. If you want to read it in your own time, map of route and places to visit in Mu Khao Chang National Park. Through this rocky path without slipping and doing myself a mischief. I'm sure it'll all be worth it in the end. I do love waterfalls, but one thing for certain, every time the word waterfall mentioned, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of a trek. There you have it, look. The amazing river that flows down from the waterfall, which is up there somewhere. Still a bit of a trek to get to it. But onwards and upwards. I am actually breaking a sweat. But hey, you know what? I do need to shed a few pounds, so I'm not complaining. No pain, no gain. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. And just to top it all off, I've got little fish nibbling at my feet. Very cheeky. Don't know what kind of fish they are, but always good to see fish. It means it's clean water. They don't seem very scared. All these fish come to see me. I think they're taking a liking to me. I don't know if I've got any food or anything. I wish I did have, but I don't think you're allowed to feed them actually. They certainly look like they're having a little gathering around me. How beautiful. Fantastic way of getting your feet cleaned. I've been pecking away at them feet. Free foot cleansing. The best time to see this waterfall or any other waterfall for that matter, in its full glory, is of course during the rainy season. And as you can see, this is definitely the rainy season. This is Chef Travels, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully 
see you on the next one. Cheers.